Welcome, welcome. I know we just did one of these, but I kind of want to get caught up before the baby comes, so let's do a comment roundup. Winter 2019 edition. Elgernon, from the kingdom, or Cole, Corypheus' immortality wasn't dependent on his dragon, since he died and came back several times before he got the dragon. I think the idea is that he invested part of his being into it, which allowed him to control it. Morgan says when you kill the dragon, it will temporarily disrupt Corypheus' ability to possess other bodies. So Cole brings up a good point. Corypheus is able to possess either Janica or Larias before we know of any dragon. I'm uh, not really quite sure what my thought process was when I wrote that relative immortality required both blight and some dragon usage, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to say baby brain, but who really knows at this point? Just as a very quick aside, though, this is also one of those moments where I just want to say that while this is a world of magic, and I guess anything is possible, the plot point of Kurafis' dragon dying and being able to disrupt his body-changing abilities just never made sense to me, even if he did, like, invest a part of his being into it, which allowed him to control it. Like, Cole says, I just... I don't know, it never made sense to me. <laughs> but yeah, thanks. Lanny Log says, Wait, I thought all gods were able to turn into dragons. I thought that was the form someone got in trouble for taking. So, yes and no. Yes, that this is what the fans believe on some pretty good evidence, but it's never actually been confirmed 100%. And to also expand on my dumb theory in the video, I didn't mean that Elgernon could turn into a dragon, but that he possessed one. Like, he was a spirit that possessed a dragon like Hakon. Not that he could turn into a dragon like Mythal. Does this make sense? I don't know. The Black Fox. IG Rashiko says, I always thought this story was just a Zoro Easter egg. Zoro literally means fox in Spanish. So I got a ton of comments and PMs about this. I think there is a case that the Black Fox started out as a Zoro Easter egg, but the fact that it's gone on this long in the series makes me wonder if it's something more. There are a ton of Easter eggs to other media in other parts of the game, but none have ever really made it out of the one piece that they've been referenced. The Black Fox have been noted in all the games and even one of the novels. It's just, maybe it started out as that and then it's just transformed into something else because they like the idea so much, but it's, it's just, it's become a lot more than I think it originally was supposed to be. Gangster's Paradise says, And what's the connection to the Black Fox in Awakening and to SL Coldry in Origins? Okay, this one took me a moment to understand, but I thought it was something important to actually bring up. So I am afraid, dear gangsters, uh, that you have misremembered Awakening in the Slim Coldray questline. What you're thinking of is the Dark Wolf, a pseudonym given to the hero Ferelden if you complete the stealing questline from Slim, and an imposter you meet in Awakening who has taken on your title so he can do more with it. So I guess the answer to your question on what the connection is is that there is none, but um, it, it, t to be fair... Dark Wolf and Black Fox. It's, I can see why you why you confuse the two. Zevran. Selene Thanatos says, I'm confused. I thought Zevran didn't know for certain if his father was the woodcutter because he died before he was born, forcing his mother into prostitution, hence why he grew up in a brothel. But he said his father could have been anyone. So you are right. Zevran says this and I happen to just miss that line when writing the episode. However, World of Thetis does some fuckery and mentions that his mother's husband was killed by the crows and that she became a prostitute to pay off his debts. It also lists the year that the murder happened, which is also the same year that Zevran was born. So to me, I took this to mean that the woodcutter was his father and that she was pregnant when he died. But there are arguments otherwise, and this is one of those moments where the lore doesn't really line up that well. <laughs> However, no matter what the truth is, Zevran doesn't know who his father really is, and that might just be the main takeaway from all this. Hala. John Kissier says, Could the different Hala be blighted Hala? We never have seen them and blighted creatures look monstrous. So I actually brought this up in the book important episode where I talked about Horror of Hormac. And while I would normally just leave it to that, I got so many comments about this, and I keep getting comments about this, so I just want to say it again and louder, and just to make my life easier, I'm just going to replay that bit from the episode. I recently did a video about the Hala and mentioned the story, and probably the most common comment I got was asking if the Hala had been tainted. Now, while it is possible, I would like to state that I'm not really sold on it. In DARPG, which is debated to not be canon, so keep that in mind, there is a creature called the Darhalan, or basically a tainted Hala. There's actually a picture of one, and it doesn't really look like what is described in the carving. While things change, and especially for things in the Dragon Age RPG, I think, like Friedel mentioned, these aren't Darkspawn. They are something more. Something created. 
Lee Vale says, The fact that Insectoid Hollow were described as pulling prison Aravels makes me think that they aren't like an accident of the taint or something. My speciality when cooking is soup. I have a few recipes for soup. Maybe Gilanon had a few recipes for Hala, and these were meant to be intimidating prison warden ones that would scare prisoners and slaves into submission. They might continue to exist, or more likely in my opinion, only the graceful ones survives because they were easier to care about and desire. Okay, this is just a really good comment, and the cooking imagery really makes it click in my mind, and I really have nothing to add other than I just really agree with it, and I just want to make you all see it. <laughs> so thank you so much for leaving that comment. And that's all I have. I know it's a short video, but I also have been slowing down a bit on content due to baby stuff. Uh, in time, things will get back on track, but it might be a little while as I, you know, get used to things. <laughs> so, if you just have lingering questions, proof that I'm wrong, comments about your own fan theory, feel free to tweet me at Agilderthon on Twitter or send a PM to user Gillanon on Reddit. Dress your all.